How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Toon TV. This is your Newcastle United news and transfer news. And boy, do we have a lot of news for you today. Um, we've got loads of news. Possible James Madison coming to the Newcastle United this week before the Nottingham Forest game. Could we get Timo Werner on loan? Or could Jack Harrison be in for a shout for Newcastle United um, later on in this transfer market? But uh, if we... Before we get into all that, please do me a favour and press that subscribe button and press that like button and the bell so you'll be notified every time we, I post a video. Hope everyone's had a great weekend. Welcome back into the week. Welcome back into the Newcastle world. Um, and yeah, let's get on with it because we've got a lot to cover. Um, so first of all, uh, this is very recent. This has just come out today. So it was reported yesterday um, that Newcastle put up a bid for £40 million for James Madison, which I must admit... A lot of people have been saying we've been ridiculous and it's a bit disrespectful that we put a 40 million for James Madison. And I admit, it is a bit cheeky, but I won't say it's disrespectful. Um, but I'd say it's a bit <laughs> going around a corner. Um, you got a woods, you got a scary woods right there. Let's take the safe route. So that's what Newcastle have done. They've took the safe route into buying them, which hasn't worked. Well, um, Leicester have come out and said, no, we're not having that. I mean, Brendan Rodgers came out um, yesterday and said, that, that bid... Is so ridiculous. It's worth three quarters of his left leg. What a player! Um, so Newcastle seen that and gone. I'm having that. Here's fifty million. So we put fifty million for James Madison um, about two hours, three hours ago. Uh, it's nearly nine o'clock now. So uh, three hours ago, uh, put up fifty million for him. We're still waiting on a Leicester response. Uh, so until we get a Leicester response, we yet to know if he's a new if he wants to move to Newcastle. It's open that he's, it says that he's open for a move to Newcastle. Um, so we'll just have to see with that one. But for now, Newcastle have put in a 50 million bid. Um, so we're just waiting a Leicester, uh, Leicester response. Um, so I'll update you guys on that. It could possibly be tomorrow where he goes. I'm, I'm, he's a, he could be a Newcastle player tomorrow or Wednesday. We've got plenty of time. Um, anyway, moving on to Timo Werner. Um, it's us and Leipzig, obviously his, his old club, uh, RB Leipzig. Um, I'm, he's, I think if he's ever going to move to Newcastle, I think it's first, it's going to be a loan. I don't think he'll move not on a loan. I think it will be a loan. So um, we're considering Timo Werner coming in. We, of course, Timo Werner is so unpredictable in this Premier League because obviously he hasn't hit the ground running with Chelsea for a few, year, for a few years. Um, he's not really primarily proven i must say obviously he's had a few years here but he's not really doing it for me uh but i think i'd have i'd have him on loan and there's talks in there of being on loan um of a, a possible option to buy um so that'll be interesting uh but let me know guys in the comments would you take timo werner on loan or would you have him on, have him on a permanent deal at newcastle let me know in the comments i'll try and get back to your comments um now on to another bid uh, we've been rejected by um, Jack Harrison, I see we've covered him a lot on this channel. Um, so um, Newcastle got in today for a forty million. They've really done it today. They've gone in today for a forty million bid for Jack Harrison, which has been turned down by uh, Leeds. I mean, Leeds literally said they want forty, forty or more. We're giving you forty. Obviously, I understand where Leeds are coming from here. It will be a massive miss to lose Jack Harrison. I must admit, um, after losing Rafinha, Phillips, so to lose Jack Harrison. They could be facing relegation after that, um, so they hold. They're keeping a hold of him right now, um, so um, <laughs> I think it'd be a big miss to to leave him out. I must say. Um, so that's all the news for you today, guys. Obviously, very, very, very exciting news. I'm a very excited Newcastle fan right now, um, as well as I'm. I'm also excited because the Premier League starts this weekend. Get in there. Uh, live watch along will be on Saturday. Sorry for no live watch along that last weekend. Um, it will be a live watch along this Saturday at 3 o'clock. Make sure to tune in at quarter to 3 um, on Saturday. Mark your calendars. Put it on your timer. Put it on a stop or a stopwatch stop timer. Um, and come cho come tune in to the channel for a live watch along. Um, let me know your predictions in, in, in the comments. Or get involved in the chat and a live watch along. I'll be um, showing live chat. Uh, so you guys want to get involved. Uh, that'll be greatly appreciated. Um, now, I've also started a Twitter account, so if you can go follow my Twitter account, the link will be in the description, uh, so you can go check that out. Um, and, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Make sure to follow my Instagram. I'm very active on there. Um, and also my TikTok. I'm a bit active on there at the minute, but it's not overly active. So if you do follow that, it would mean the world. 
Um, thank you everyone for your great support on this channel. It really, really, re really means a lot. Now it's just this final push to get the Premier League started um, and see how the season um, plans ahead of us. All we know, it's better than last season. The first half of last season. Um, so at least we're going into a Premier League knowing that we're going to do better than last season. Uh, so I hope, hope, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, make, make sure you uh, put a comment down below uh, something else. I will try and get back to you. And that's all from me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.